Yes, we come again to a lot of people about the things coming at them, the things they, some of which they think they know, but which they really do not know. The campaigns are heating up. There's the PDP, there's the APC, there's the uh, Labour Party. Let's limit ourselves to those three for the purpose of uh, the important thing we need to know now, whether it is election that will solve the problems that are coming at us, the invasion that is uh, now you know, becoming more rampant, the Fulani invasion. We recall that we had uh, talked about uh, plans A, B and C of uh, the invading Fulani led by our own president and commander-in-chief, a Fulani man. The conquest that the Fulani is driving at in order to reestablish ownership and control over the territorial space the world calls Nigeria. In the face of the defeat of the constitution 1999, that was the title deed, that is still the title deed, you know, uh, by which uh, they exercise control over the entire sovereign space. Now, we've arrived at the juncture where Ninas need to tell everybody, especially those who are building their hope around one or the other of uh, these uh, three campaigns. Why does Ninas say that uh, we must shut down the journey to the election? Why does Ninas say nothing will improve? except this constitution goes down. Why does Nina say it is this constitution that empowers the murderous invaders against the indigenous uh, people? It is in that light that uh, we want to bring out these uh, three, we want, to, we want to zoom in on each of these three campaigns to explain to us why none of them is going to take us to anything uh, you know the, any safe destination we're not talking about uh, even progress because as long as that constitution is in place there's no progress that can be made we can only deteriorate if we look back at 1999 we will see that we have been deteriorating progressively and uh, now we are not even talking about the stagnation and that deterioration we are talking about the danger that is uh, coming towards us in a situation where the Fulani now want to take the entire space for themselves as their new uh, homeland, eliminating and exterminating the indigenous uh, peoples uh, of Nigeria. And so we, we just want to make it clear that uh, Nina's, is, you know, Nina's stands where it stood all the while about the need to shut down the voyage to that election because uh, no matter who wins the election that constitution will survive the calamities we're talking about can only increase and none of the candidates can do anything about those things uh, for the reasons we're going to explain to you in course of this so it will be in three parts we'll take on a let's we'll start with the pdp and their candidate Atiku. Then we go to APC, their candidate uh, Tinubu, and then uh, 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 Labour Party and their candidate uh, PDOB. For the PDP's candidate, uh, Atiku Abubakar, we engaged him in 2016 when he was uh, talking about restructuring. Because bottom line, the problem we are faced with begins and ends with the constitution that uh, define what everybody can do, that define the union and the relationships and the boundaries within the union. That, that claim we have uh, submitted our sovereignties to be one political union. And uh, it is against that backdrop that uh, we say in 2016 as a project, as the drivers of that, the vanguard of that process, we had uh, gone to engage uh, Alaji uh, 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 Tiku Abubakar, former vice president, when he began to talk about uh, 
restructuring all over the place. And we went to ask him, and when I say we, uh, the vanguards of that, uh, you know, inevitable constitutional reconstruction in the South and in the Middle Belt, said, sir, what, what is your uh, perception? What, what, what do you mean by restructuring? By the time we finished with him, it was clear that his understanding of restructuring began and ended with going to National Assembly to seek amendments. We then, uh, we, the self-determination collective from across the south, the Yoruba, the eastern part, the middle of it, we then explained to him what we mean by the reconstruction we seek. They can call it restructuring. But that restructuring is the one in which, like a building that has to be taken down and rebuilt. For us, it could end in a, in, in a federation, it could end in a confederation, it could end in non-federation. As long as it is in self-determination, as long as it is uh, you know, uh, determined by the self-determination imperative, meaning it is the owners of the constituent you know uh, 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 powers the sovereignties that are coming together that will decide whether they want to be in union and if yes what terms in terms of level of autonomy those are the things that uh, we put a process we put definite meaning definite process for how to arrive at the reconstruction we're talking about and th th this was the exchange we had with him to show him what we mean by restructuring from the self determination collective and the process, the two-stage process by which it can uh, happen. And so at the time, uh, you know, in course of uh, that uh, the discussion that took place uh, a number of times in Abuja, he then requested, uh, you know, some kind of, uh, that we reduce all of what we have discussed, what all, all of what we've presented into writing. He agreed with us that uh, we could. We also said that it's not something that should happen after the election. It's something we could do before the 2019 election. And he agreed with us. And so we went on to the question of uh, how do we proceed to get it done before that election. In fact, he said that that he wasn't uh, talking about that it's only when we have Nigeria that we can then have a, a election and who will govern. That the way things were going, except we reconstruct the damaged constitutional basis, that we may have no Nigeria to uh, be talking about the election in 2019. And so we all went on. By the time we wrote what we wrote, uh, the, the, I had to write and bring back to that meeting, and he took it. That became the end. All of what we should have been doing to make sure that we solve that problem before 2019 election, none of them happened. The next thing, he used those materials to now present himself in all kinds of places uh, as uh, the champion of restructuring, so much so that uh, he was able to uh, get the, t uh, the PDP ticket. He had left the party and then he came back as the, 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 his name was all over the place because he had gone ahead to write a book uh, presenting himself as the, champ the one who knows how to do it, who is more eager to do it than other people. Leaving what we agreed to do, that that campaign, that undertaking has to happen before any further national elections. So it was a matter of departing from the understanding. And so uh, he became the candidate of uh, PDP. Of course, uh, the elections came. We saw how it went. He didn't uh, carry the day. And then from that 2019 to when the primaries happened again, again 2023, nobody cited him near where the people who were talking about this uh, inevitable constitutional reconstruction, uh, you know, gathered. And so we were trying to, t if anybody, if anybody wants to verify uh, this 2016 round of incidents. So we can now, uh, you know, uh, bring it uh, together with what has happened uh, at this time because he also went to Arise TV the other day uh, to reinforce what we saw in 2016 as his understanding of the reconstruction. He, he said on Arise TV that uh, uh, he will send bills to National Assembly that they will pass he will call governors and tell them this is what he wants to do that is all he's going to do and so that constitution stays the 1999 constitution stays with the structures and the all kinds of contents it creates therefore 
if Atiko wins this election of 2023, he is not uh, going to he is not going to do anything more than uh, taking uh, to National Assembly, uh, you know, some kind of bill that they will. Uh, it go. It it, it 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 simply means amendments to 1999 Constitution. That is what Article's campaign of in PDP is offering you. Those who want to uh, verify this uh, 2016 uh, encounter with uh, Elijah Atiku should go on YouTube to the title Nigeria uh, in Nigeria at the Valley of Decision. Nigeria at the Valley of Decision. That's the YouTube title where we went on air to talk about uh, our meeting with him at the time and what uh, we thought we had agreed upon, which of course uh, he departed from. That's what we Ninas is saying to you today, that if you go to this election and article wins that election, there is nothing relating to reconstruction of the constitutional basis that will happen. He is rather going to carry on with the Fulani agenda. We saw what he did with uh, Deborah, uh, the stoning of Deborah in Sokoto. We also saw him on a rice TV saying that he will send bill to National Assembly, meaning that he's only thinking about uh, amendment to constitution. I think uh, that should uh, take care of that. Ninas says that uh, we can't build anything on this uh, damaged constitutional foundation. And therefore, let us stop and repair that damaged foundation before we proceed to any further elections. And whoever wins that election will discover there's no Nigeria to govern because the owners of Nigeria have rejected that constitution as basis of Nigeria. No matter who wins, that's the outcome. That is for the PDP.